NASA has released the high-rise images with a little bit of a hmm, not so good press conference, but something's visible on these images. We want to talk about that. And we have an orientation of the plume around 3i Atlas in this high-rise images that raises some questions. And newly discovered sideway lines what is it? What is this in this video, guys? So let's start with the orientation of the plume of the interstellar object 3i Atlas in the new high-rise images. If you look at this image here, that's the new image. It shows an extension of the glowing plume of 3i Atlas in the direction of motion ahead of 3i Atlas. So it appears like there is something preceding the object that was previously confused with being in the direction of the sun. So are we one step further to find an explanation? But so it's not in the direction of the sun, it is actually in the direction of motion. In previous images that we have seen, like the Hubble Space Telescope image that you see here behind me, the two directions were similar when 3i Atlas was heading towards the sun from far away. So what's happening? It would be easy to explain a plume of gas and dust extended towards the sun as a result of the illumination of pockets of ice by sunlight or away from the sun as a result of radiation pressure or the solar wind. That is version number one. Version number two, we could explain a trailing stream that the object leaves behind as the drag on the solar wind slows it down relative to the object. Also, that's what comets would do. But it's much more difficult to account for a plume that is extended perpendicular to the direction of the sun and ahead of the object, not behind the object. The scale of the extension in the high-rise images is roughly 3,000 kilometers. At the typical thermal speed of volatiles, particles that sublimate from a comet, from the surface of a natural comet. It takes only a day to cross that distance. So what we see here in this new high-rise image, could that be a technological signature of illuminating or clearing the paths from any hazardous micrometeorites that may cause damage to a technological object? That's the question that Harvard professor Dr. Avi Loeb has asked. We can say that this new NASA image is showing us this strangely glowing plume that stretches in front of the object in the direction that the object is moving. And normally comets release gas and dust that form plumes or tails towards the sun because sunlight heats the ice or away from the sun because of radiation pressure or solar wind, or behind the object just as a normal dust tail. But you almost never see a plume that is ahead of the object and not pointing towards or away from the sun. And it's so long, very, very large, about 3,000 kilometers long, that's 2.5 miles. Whew. That's why this forward pointing plume is so hard to explain with normal comet physics. That's why Avi Loeb has asked this speculative question. But what he really wants to encourage is, well, as science, we don't know it all. So we can't have the arrogance that we think we know everything about comets because this one is definitely different. And he says, don't rule out because this will eventually happen sometime. He says the plume might be a technological signature. You could imagine it similar to headlights or a clearing beam made by an, an extraterrestrial device traveling through space. It's not a proof, but it's basically um, a good question based on the strange direction of the plume. And then guys, we have a new image, current image, taken on November 20th from our visitor 3i Atlas. And it shows something strange. 
an X-shaped pattern made of four lines. We have a tail and an anti-tail. Could be normal for comets along the sun object line. Two sideways lines, perfectly straight. One up, one down, almost like a cross. These sideways jets stretch about one million kilometers, which is huge, strangely huge. First explanation, probably just satellites. Avi Lip says again, simplest explanation is that these vertical lines might be satellite streaks. Earth satellites are passing through this image during the long exposure when that image was taken. And he says it's likely that it's just satellites because the lines look exactly like satellite trails. So good, right? This would be good. So nothing abnormal here. But if the sideways lines are real and they're not satellites, which we can't rule out because we do not have any proof for any of these theories, then two big problems would appear. The lines are too straight and too smooth because 3i Atlas rotates every 16 hours. So the lines can't be that straight. If a real gas, if real gas jets were shooting out from 3i Atlas, there were to the rotation would really create like wiggles or gaps in the jets, like a rotating sprinkler jet, like a sprinkler effect. But the lines are perfectly straight, perfectly narrow, tens of thousands of kilometers long. And this is not normal for a comet that is outgassing, for a natural comet's outgassing. Because the lines go in the wrong direction. Comets do release gas toward the sun, the ice sublimates, and the solar wind then pushes the dust away from the sun. So normally, Everything happens along the sun and object axis. But these jets are 90 degrees sideways, which does not fit. Let's make that clear. Comet physics. So if it's not from satellites, what is it then? So if they are real jets, what could they be? So there's two possibilities, a natural and a technological explanation. The natural explanation, pieces of the comet broke off like mini objects and they moved away from the object in straight lines. So if they started breaking off around October 29th, where it would have been most likely for the object to break in pieces, but this kind of contradicts that we have seen the object come out of perihelion closest to the sun intact in one piece. But let's say they started breaking off around October 29th. They would need speeds of about 500 meters per second. This is indeed possible if the comet's nucleus is breaking up. The other explanation for that is the technical explanation. So the mini objects could be small probes released from a larger mothership, the 3i Atlas alien spaceship. That could explain the straight pathways, the consistent direction, guys, and the lack of rotation effects, and the required velocity kick, roughly 200 to 500 meters per second, that matches a chemical propulsion and not natural forces. The sun's tidal force cannot cause this acceleration, so something must have pushed these objects. We've talked about this in previous videos. And again, Avi Loeb is not saying that we're dealing with aliens here, but he's looking at all possibilities. And I think by hearing the other possibility, it helps us really to understand better what we're dealing with here. Because if the sideways lines in these images are real, not satellite artifacts, then natural explanations are weak. We don't have any and technological activity becomes a possible explanation. So we need to wait for upcoming images to be able to confirm whether they are just satellite streaks, fragments of the comet, or something more unusual. And we will probably be able to know more by December 19th. 
if you want to see everything that's going on with 3i atlas guys i have a playlist it's in the end screen and i'll also put my last video in the end screen here so thanks for watching hype this video please like it and subscribe share it with your friends and if you are interested in earthquakes volcanoes landslides tsunamis subscribe go to my start page go to my on the pulse with silky page here on youtube click on videos and then binge watch them all or choose one of the four here in the end screen because then i see you in a second and if you want to fill me up with coffee to keep me going thank you so much for everyone who's doing this link is in the description because i'm having this coffee right now because i need to make another video for you very interesting topic stay tuned i see you here in a second